Hello, I'm Tata, and today I have for you some really simple unstackable item sorters based around instant dropper chains. In case you don't know what instant dropper chains are, basically we power two or more droppers in the exact same tick, but because of update order, this dropper is going to activate first, then this dropper is going to activate, but because it's all in the same tick, the items are going to move through the droppers instantly. And what that means in practice is that this hopper is never going to be able to pick up items from this dropper and put them into this bottom barrel. And what that means is that all the items are only ever going to end up in this top barrel. So I flick this lever once, and we get one item in this top barrel, and no matter how many times I flick this, uh, we're only ever going to get items in this top barrel and never in this bottom barrel. And based around this principle, we can make some really easy shulker box filters. So these are the shulker box filters I made a couple of years ago. Um, and here is our instant dropper chain, and you may be wondering, what is this shulker box doing? This is how we actually short, sort the shulker boxes. Uh, you can't put a shulker box into a shulker box, which means you can sort them out by pulling them out of this dropper. Boop, and boop, and inside this chest is just some shulker boxes and items. As you can see, only ever shulker boxes are going to end up in this left barrel here, and only carrots are only ever going to end up in this right barrel. And same thing with this design. Now, I wouldn't really recommend using these designs. They're really clunky, and uh, I haven't really gone ahead and compacted them uh, at all, uh, just because I had no need to. That was until Metamilo released a video a couple, uh, couple of weeks ago showcasing a really small trucker box filter that is only six blocks long and three blocks tall. And I can just show you it working like this. Now, it works on a slightly different concept. Instead of using our instant dropper chain to basically push items out of this dropper instantaneously, uh, what Metamilo's design does is we lock this hopper for a very brief moment such that we can attempt to shoot items out of this dropper. And as you can see, we'll get carrots on this left barrel and chocolate boxes on this right barrel. These uh, two extra observers were a little bit expensive, so if I could get my design to be one wide, then you would have another option uh, for a chocolate box filter that'd be a little less expensive. And uh, it's really easy to do that. Um, all you have to do is flip that design over 90 degrees along the x-axis, uh, rotate it, sorry, not flip it, and uh, you'll end up with the design looking like this, and I can just show you it working. So we're only going to get shulker boxes on this left barrel, and only ever get items on this right barrel. I didn't really develop this any further, that was until later on I found out that Yomango had used this setup already to make a water bottle filler. So here we have some glass bottles, and as you can see here, they're going to get filled up, uh, the dispenser here is going to fill the glass bottles up with water and put, the, put them into this double chest here. Now, seeing this setup being used for multiple purposes, I thought, hey, what other purposes can this be used for? And pretty quickly, you can use this as a potions, uh, potion sorter as well. And the way that you do that is basically in, you replace this shulker box here with potions, with a potion stand, a brewing stand, sorry. And only potions or water bottles can go into a brewing stand, and that's how you, we can uh, sort through these items. So in this chest, I have some potions. It works with all potion types, so lingering potions, drinkable potions, splash potions, uh, whatever have you, and water bottles, uh, in case you're wondering. And the totems of undying throughout the video are just going to represent a random unstackable. And I can just show you this working like this. So as you can see, we're only ever, ever going to get water bottles and potions in this, in this chest here and only ever get totems of undying in this chest here. And uh, it doesn't stop there. We can use a, the same setup to make a flint and, flint and steel plus shear sorter from your standard uh, unstackable items. And it's also bucket proof in 1.13 as compared to old designs, which, uh, wouldn't, uh, which normally used a sign, which would be um, water loggable. So uh, the way we do that is that we replace the dropper with a dispenser, as you can see on the right side of the F3 screen. And uh, we replace the brewing stand with a honey block. And if you're not in 1.15, you can also use an anvil. And I can just demonstrate this to you working. So here's what's inside the chest. And just put that in here. And as you can see, only ever flint and steel and shears are going to end up in this left barrel. And only the totems of undying and the buckets are going to end up in this right, bla right barrel. And you probably don't want to be storing your flint and steel and shears together, so I also made some flint and steel from shears sorter. So 
here we have some chests with flint and steel and shears. And I can just put these into these two designs. Now, uh, the only difference between these two designs is that this design is non-directional. So it means that uh, you can build this facing any direction. While this design here is a little less expensive, but uh, you have to build it uh, on the north-south uh, axis uh, lengthwise. And uh, as you can see, only flint and steel end up in this bottom barrel, and flint and shears end up in this top barrel. Uh, same thing over here. Um, whoops. Here and here. And uh, in case you don't like using slime blocks and you don't like using redstone dust, I've also made dustless and slimeless versions of both of them uh, in the back there. And that's about how far I went with developing this concept. However, one of the, my subscribers in my, Discord, in my public Discord server had showed me that you can use uh, the same setup to make a minecart sorter and a boat sorter. And I've gone ahead and compacted this. At this point, we're not really using an instant dropper chain anymore. However, it's the same clock setup, so uh, I thought I might as well share it. So in here, we have random unstackables plus minecarts. And as you can see, it works uh, pretty well. So totems are going to end up here, and minecarts are going to end up in here. And we're just breaking the minecarts with a cactus. And uh, we can do the same thing with boats. So we have boats and totems in here. Just do that. So the boats are going to get dispensed and put on top of the water, get broken by the fire, and then get ejected into this hopper and come down here, while the totems are going to land uh, just in the water and get picked up by this hopper and land in this left barrel. And we actually make this, made this uh, boat sorter bucket proof by waterlogging a dead coral fan. So dead coral fans, one, they don't have any collision box, so I can walk through a dead coral fan. They're also waterloggable, which means you can't dispense a water bucket into a waterlogged block, in case you're wondering. And they also block lava from spreading for some reason. So, uh, yeah, that's how you can make this boat sorter bucket proof. Now, you may be wondering, what are some applications of all of these unstackable item sorters? Well, one application is a giant unstackable item sorter. So, here we have a lot of different unstackables, and if I just put this chest onto this hopper, as you can see, items are just going to be cycled between the different sorters. Now, I wouldn't recommend building an item sorter exactly like this because, as you can see, um, water streams are not exactly precise, so you're going to lose some items. Uh, but this is just a proof of concept. So, in case you were wondering about how you should be sorting your unstackable items, uh, first thing you want to sort are shulker boxes, next thing you want to sort are potions, then flint and steel plus shears, and then send those off to your auxiliary flint and steel and shear sorter. Then you have uh, boats, minecarts, and buckets. Basically, you can sort these in whatever order that you want, so long as you sort your buckets before you sort your minecarts. Next up, you have um, you want to sort out your armor by equipping it onto an armor stand. Then you can sort swords via zombies that can pick up items. Then you can sort skeletons via skeletons, or you can sort bows via skeletons that pick up items. And in 1.16 and onwards, you can sort saddles and horse armor by trying to equip them onto a tamed horse. A secondary application might be storing numbers in base 6. So uh, here we can assign each unstackable item to a number 0 to 5. And now we can uh, basically figure out whether a digit is um, a number 0 to 5. So we can store numbers in base 6. Now, in case you were wondering what that means, is that in a shulker box, we can store up to 6 raised to, raised to 27 different values. So uh, the values would be the value of 0 to more than 10 raised to 21. So that's probably more numbers than you'd ever need to store um, in a single shulker box. And another way that you can think about it is that you can store 13 uh, digit pairs or 13 two digit two two digit numbers in base six so um that might be of use to you uh anyhow uh that concludes my video showcasing some really simple unstackable item sorties um i hope you found this helpful if you have any questions or you'd like access to the world download uh my public discord is available in the description all right thank you take care have a good day